Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Kaysen. I'm here with the incomparable Ruta Lee, star of stage, screen, <laughs> television, pretty much everything, and an incredible humanitarian. She was, she is uh, the chairman emeritus of Thalians, which is a, a mental health charity that she helped establish back in 1955. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. And while we're talking about the, my incredible career, what I have to add to it now that I'm so proud of is that I'm an authoress. Don't you love it? And my book is called Consider Your Ass Kissed. And I mean it to each and every one of you who have ever turned on a television screen because I'm going to be on or gone to a movie to see me or gone to the theater to see me. Consider your darling asses kissed. Obviously, you know me and I'm into mental health. It's been my life's work, but Luda, can you tell me what got you involved in the work of mental health? In you know what? What would get anybody involved? It was filled with stars and show business. <laughs> I went to the first thing that I ever went to that the Thalians, they started without me. Uh, I have spent the last 55 years as one of the head mothers, you know, yes. the mother superior of, of the Thalians, but it got started by, with a group of young Hollywood people who were really tired of being called, as I said, hard drinking, pot smoking asses that had nothing to contribute. And they said, let's, let's do something for charity. We hang around and the, the piano and sing and have drinks and have fun together. Why don't we put something together, sell tickets and find a charity? And they sent out Jane Mansfield and Mamie Van Dorn. Right. We talk about bazooms galore. These were bombshells <laughs> back then. And bombshells. boy, they had the boots <laughs> to match, let me tell you. We sent them out, or they, the group did, to find a good charity. And they came back to the next meeting saying, well, all the good diseases have been taken. <laughs> they discovered a wonderful man that was dealing with emotionally disturbed children. Mm. And Cedar sinai had not even been formed yet. And they found this man and he referred to these emotionally disturbed children as rotting apples in a barrel yeah. that not only would they themselves spoil, but they could spoil the entire barrel or the neighborhood or the society that they were in the family. And so we took up the cause of emotionally disturbed children and 18 years later, built the first building that went in at the Cedars, now Sinai, complex. I'm extremely proud of what you're doing. I mean, it's an incredible thing that you've done over the years. And as a, as a psychologist in Los Angeles, I've been aware of it for a long, long time. And that's why it's such a privilege to meet one of the people that's in charge and has made it happen. You, along with Debbie Reynolds and mm. so many others. God works in mysterious ways. And my dear Greg, we joined up with UCLA and Operation Mend. Operation Mend heals the broken and fractured bodies of our returning young men and women, our veterans that we send God knows where in the world to stand for America. And then they come home and they fall through the cracks somehow, especially when it comes to mental health. So they take care of the broken bodies we try to take care of the broken mind and spirit of our returning veterans. And I'm very proud of what we're doing. Thank you so much, Ruta, for joining mm. me. I thank this is you. Incredible. And thank, thank you. you for listening. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Please, please go out and get Ruta Lee's book, Consider Your Ass Kissed. Literally one of the best titles I've ever seen. Thank you for joining us. I'm so glad you didn't turn us off when we came on. <laughs> and thank you, Greg, for sharing your wonderful audience with me. Uh, God bless you all, and please, God bless America. Thank you. Thank you.